Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to simulate air flow around a perforated twisted tap insert in a pipe. This is a perforated insert which is placed inside a pipe. We are going to analyze the flow behavior around this perforated insert and we are using Ansys plane for this analysis. So let's start. Drag the fluid flow fluent into project schematic window. Right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. We are going to create this geometry in the design modeler. Go to units and change it to millimeter. Select the XY plane. Now go to sketching. And draw a circle at the origin. Go to dimensions and put the dimensions. Put the diameter as 20 mm and click on generate. Now extrude this sketch. Click on apply to select the sketch. Select the add frozen option. Here we are going to Extrude in both directions. Select the say both symmetric option over here. And the depth as 100 mm. So the total length will be 200 mm. This is the pipe geometry. Now we are going to create the insert geometry at the middle. Select the X-ray plane and insert another new sketch. the cross section of the insert. Now go to constraints and make symmetric about the axis. Select the symmetry option, click on the x axis in the top line and the bottom line. Similarly, put the dimension Again, we are going to go to symmetry and putting the symmetry for vertical lines of the rectangle. Now we are going to put the dimensions of this insert. The 2 mm thickness and 15 mm height. Click on generate. We are going to sweep this insert along the z axis. For this, we are going to create a line on the z axis. So select yz plane and insert a new sketch over here. Go to sketching and draw a polyline over here. Now go to sweep option. Select the profile, rectangle profile. Now select the polyline as the path and click on apply. Select add frozen option and the no twist option change it to turns up to 0.5. We are making half turn of this twisted taps. If you want, you can increase also as per your requirement. Then click on generate. This is the half of this twisted tab insert. Similarly, we are going to create a second half along the negative z direction. Similarly, we are going to create another line on this yz plane. We are creating another sketch. Go to sketching and select the line option. Now 
I put the dimension of 50 mm, then click on generate. Now, again we are going to sweep this same sketch, rectangular sketch with this path, with the add of progen option and number of turns as 0.5. Then click on generate. This is the total insert geometry, which has been splitted as two halves. Now we are going to join this two halves using the Boolean tools. For this, go to create menu and select Boolean option. Select the operation as unite and select tool body as the two inserts. Then click on apply click on generate so that these two would be joined as single insert single body now we are going to create perforations on this insert so we are going to draw some small and small larger circles around this and then we are going to extrude this to make the perforations on this inserts Select the YZ plane, create a sketch, new sketch, and draw some circles over here. Now go to constraints and select equal radius of the circles. Now go to dimensions and put the dimension of the circle. Dimension is 5 mm. Now put the dimensions of the circles from this axis. Now put all the dimensions. Now we are going to draw some smaller circles in between these larger circles then go to draw toolbar and select circle option and draw the smaller circles. We are going to create in this part of the insert and we are going to mirror this subsequent at the other parts at the other side subsequently I put the constraints of equal radius now 
I put the dimension Go to constraints, select the symmetry option, make the two circles, symmetry about this axis, z axis. Similarly, select the another two circles, now put the dimension of any one. Put the values of the dimension. Put the dimensions. Put the dimension of this circle. Same as the previous one. Put the value of 10 mm. Now we are going to mirror the smaller circles. Select replicate option, select all the circles. Right click and select origin as the paste handle. Now right click again and select flip vertical. Now paste it at the origin. So the, all the circles will be now replicated along the x, y axis. Now right click then select end. These are the all the perforations geometry. Now we are going to extrude this. Select the extrude option, select the sketch as geometry, select the operation as add frozen, then extrude in both direction, click on generate. Now we are going to subtract this from this insert geometry, so that there would be perforations in this insert, so hiding this outer geometry. Now go to create, then select boolean tool, select operation as subtract, target body as insert and select all this newly created extrude as the hold shift key and select all these solids then click on apply. Now if you reject tool body as no, then click on generate. Now this perforations has been generated inside this insert. Now show all the hydrated bodies.
this is the insert geometry we are going to analyze the flow over this insert geometry then right click on the outer zone domain and select show body now go to boolean tool now we are going to subtract this insert from this outer domain select the preserve tool body option as yes and click on generate now it has been subtracted from the outer domain I select all these two bodies and make it as one part. Now geometry is complete. We are going to mesh and do the silver setup in the next part. If you have any doubt, then please comment below. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.